Hi everyone, welcome back to Agra Gago. I am here and I make tutorial. I have made crochet tutorial and this is going to be my first knitting tutorial and I will be coming up with many different kinds of tutorial like sewing and many more so if you are interested if you are a DIY girl you need to subscribe to my channel and if some of your friends whom you know love DIY please don't forget to recommend them to my channel as well and in this video today we are going to do this knitting project so I'm gonna show you how we are going to knit this step by step so if you are a beginner don't worry we will be going very slow this is going to be a very beginner friendly tutorial since i myself am a beginner in knitting so i will be walking hand in hand with you so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on instagram for more updates bye So here we are going to make a slip knot, the normal slip knot which we always make. We made our slip knot and here we are going to this yarn is connected to our yarn ball which is going to be our this yarn the yarn which is connected to the yarn ball is going to be our running yarn and this yarn this is we have like this is going to be our first row so in order to make the row one we are going to hold our yarn like this and insert our knitting stitch in here and look very carefully in this side after this we are going to do like we have hold our yarn this way and now we are going to do under here okay we have taken this like this and we are going to insert our hook in back of here and then after doing this pull and this is the first we are going to repeat this again we are going to hold our yarn uh, running yarn which is going to be the yarn running yarn. we are going to hold hold this in our another hand and the one with the end we are going to hold it with our left finger and we are going to hold it this way and take our thumb from behind and from here and insert the hook from here to here and after this we are going to take our running yarn and do a yarn over and take out from without thumb again we are going to repeat hold the yarn and take below this third and yarn over yarn over is going to be from the below like yarn over from the back like in anti-clockwise direction and So we are going to repeat this process for our body. So I'm going to make make 84 another. So after making up to 84, I will make you back. So here we have made our, our 84 chain, 84 chain, and then end is going to be like this. And now we are going to take this running yarn with us and in here we can see in this area look something like this you can see this looks like a braid in the area and in here in this one we are going to insert our hook in here in the first from here insert our hook and we are going to throw our yarn since we are doing the stop knit stitch we are going to do a throw our yarn in clock anti clockwise direction you can see i have inserted my hook in from the top and only to the one of them and we are going to do a anti clockwise 
yarn from the down and take this with us and now like this and take out with the help of our thumb and point finger again we are going to repeat this in the next we are going to do the hook in here it will look like this again do the inch clockwise and okay so we are going to repeat this pattern again the piece in here they are not going to clockwise So the one which we are making right now this is going to be our papa row one this is going to be our row one so after making our row one i will need to bake so our row one is done and it will look something like this and now for the row 2, we are going to turn our stitch completely and in here, in this row 2, here we can see, we are going to first, before in the row 1, we inserted our hook like this, from here we inserted our hook in here, but in the row 2, we are going to insert our hook in the top of this and this will be our yarn and do a this insert our hook in here and clockwise and from here we are going to do here and take out again we are going to repeat insert the hook in here and over anti clockwise and again here take out again Insert the hook, yarn over it clockwise. So we are going to repeat this in alternative form. So after this, we are going to again repeat the row to row one pattern. So this is the row two. After making the row two, I will meet you back again. Okay, so this was our row 2 and for the row 3 we are going to turn our work again and do the step of row 1 the crochet which we made in the row 1 we are going to repeat the same process we are going to repeat row 1 we are going to make every row in alternative form of row 1 and row 2. After making up to a desired length, I will make the So here you can see we have completed our like the distance for our back which will be holding it and i have made total number of 84 stitch in here and in the total of 84 in 42 in between of this stitch i have put a stitch marker and now i'm gonna put another stitch another knitting knitting stick in here so that we are going to be making our front this is going to be our back this portion is going to be our back and this side is going to be our front and we are going to knit up to here and from here we are going to do the continuous knitting so i'm just going to shift this stitch in this for now
so we are sh so we are shifting our stitch our top is done and now we are going to make our end so in order to make our end we are going to do a insert our stitch in here yarn over and okay this is end again another This is the two, so after this two, we are going to take this, like this yarn and we to take this yarn and pull through it here. And again, we are going to repeat, insert the hook, insert the stitch yarn over, and then, and now take this, in which the one in the back. Another repeat. And, and so we are going to repeat this process until we complete our neck neckline area. So after completing this, I will need to pick up. So we are going to repeat the same process and close this our back panel as well. So after closing this, I will meet you back again. Okay. So our body is will look something like this, and I've already made another part of the hand, and now we are going to make the another one using the tutorial. So let's begin. So now we are going to make our sleeves. So for the sleeve, we are going to start from the another side. So as per my measurement, as, as per the measurement of my body, I have taken the measurement and from my measurement, I can see that here I have taken 20 stitches and from 20, we are going to increase to 21. So first of all, we are going to make a slip knot. Our slip knot we are going to insert in the horse needle and in here I have already marked where I'm going to make our front portion of the sleeve. I'm going to insert my stitch and do this. So this is going to be our first. And again in the next 
in front of each and continue again just to join the sleeves if you have a crochet hook you can use your crochet hook but right now I'm using my knitting needle so again I'm gonna show you we are going to insert the stitch in the area insert the stitch and do a form we are going to do a clockwise rotation and go through another repeat insert the stitch and again from here clockwise and so we are going to repeat this for 20 times after repeating this for 20 times I will need you so now from here we are going to take both of this uh, both of the point finger and middle finger and take our yarn like this and make a V and then here and sorry Again, repeat with the yarning running yarn running yarn is here and from here we're going to do a V and this in here we are going to form it again and again so we are going to make 21 of this we have already made two we are going to make 19 more So here this was our row one and now we are going to crochet our sorry so here it is done and now we are going to do the normal crush normal stitch of the stock net stitch we are going to do from here we are going to insert our and do the stock net after making this stitch up to the desired length for my sleeve if you want your sleeve to be more larger in size you can add more of the If you want uh, it in a small size as per your body measurement, you can reduce the numbers. After making the stock net stitch, as per my measurements or for the sleeve, I will meet you back again. Okay, so our sleeve is done. I have made total number of 109 rows for our sleeve and now we are going to close this sleeve So here this is the connection of connection of top and the head sleeves. So this is the opposite side of the sleeve and this is the correct side of the sleeve. So now we are going to sew this together. So in sewing I have left some yarn in here. So I'm going to use a darning needle. Use a darning needle and insert my yarn in the darning needle in here in the opposite we are going to take this from here we are going to sew this all together in a tube so from here we can see our ending and ending looks something like this 
Yeah. So we are going to do the seamless stitch. So in the next, we are going to insert the middle end. So we are going to repeat this process to sew our sleeves and our body. After sewing all of the top, I will meet you back again. So this is how the back looks like after joining the top and now here we are going to put some this area we are going to put some red yarn as per the measurement of your body in here you can put the red yarn randomly wherever you want in order to keep the top all together in the back side 